Mishkon de Rey has been partnering with the Old Vic for around three years. We like to champion really important issues that we think face society and that face our clients. And tonight is about climate change. The play Lungs, brilliantly written, brilliantly performed, but more than that, it raised a lot of the taboos that people don't talk about. I think it's a really nice idea to do a panel after a play because often when we see these topics discussed in film or in podcast or in theatre, you can forget that they're very much reality. We've got a nice range in the panel of different people with different views and different levels of expertise. It's amazing to see the amount of urgency and I think it's on everybody's radar. You watch it in the news, people are talking about it. It's fantastic. It just needs to have the political will to do it. Climate change, it's not really an environmental issue, it's a social justice issue, it's a human rights issue. It's our responsibility to, to be out on the streets and to be fighting for this issue, to be raising awareness. I think the only way we're going to find our way out of the climate crisis is through optimism. I know that the technology is there and I know that the politics is starting to get there partly because of all the fantastic communicating, all the fantastic protesting that we've been seeing this year. We in the West are, in, we are consuming insane amounts compared to the people who, where the population is growing. So the problem is not that there are too many of them, it is that we are all way, 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 and historically we have consumed way, way too much. And the, other, and the other part of it is that we're consuming in the wrong ways. If I bring it back a little bit to biology, in the animal world everything is short-term gain, right? You, you go out, you're hungry, you hunt a zebra and you kill it and you eat it. And we've broken that mould. A lot of people get very overwhelmed by the enormity of climate change and being able to solve it and they think that their little actions that they do in their everyday lives won't help. The biggest threat to our planet is the belief that somebody else is going to fix it and there's a role that every single one of us can play and we should play. We also sort of need to reimagine our world where we have managed to turn our economy around, we've managed to stop using fossil fuels, we've managed to stop destroying nature. We need to imagine how that would be a better world and start desiring that and then the politicians will give it to us and the businesses that need to innovate will do the innovation and we'll get through this. There are different ways of getting involved. Some people want to legislate, that's important. Some people want to be on the streets. Whatever it is, it's valid. And it's all about ensuring that people understand what it is that they can do and that they should do.